I'm Dr. Chase Peace at the North Dallas Curious Functional Health, and today we're going to talk about shoes. If you're one of the 45% of Americans who have a resolution this year to improve your health and fitness, you need to make sure you're taking the right steps and the right pair of shoes. So the first thing you want to decide is what are you using the shoe for? Uh, companies have really specialized the purpose of shoes, so there's a big difference between a weightlifting shoe and a running shoe. Now, the salesperson at the store can, is trained to do a good job at helping you figure out which one is best for you, but it's good to go in there with some information beforehand, like, uh, do you have high or flat arches? Do you supinate or pronate? Which means, do you roll inward when you walk, or do you roll on the outside of your foot when you walk? Because all of that makes a difference on which shoe is gonna provide you the most support and improve your performance. Uh, bad motion in the foot, can affect your ankle, your knee, your hip, and even your low back. So it's really important that you choose the shoe that best supports you. So one of the simple way that you can figure that out before you go in to purchase your shoes is the wet foot test. Uh, I just found a, the inside of a brown uh, envelope. Get your foot wet and with just a normal stride, walk over the paper and then trace the outline like I did here. And this will let you know if there's really narrow on the outside, that means that you are supinating. If it's really wide on the inside, that means you're pronating. And that information is good for the person to know. And then lastly, if you have any questions about what shoe is right for you, or if you have pain anywhere from your low back all the way to your foot, come see a chiropractor at Curious and we can help you take the right steps to reach your goals.